Would you vote for, would you vote for Giuliani? Um, you know, I, 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 on principle, I wouldn't because I don't want to vote for a president of the United States who, who wouldn't protect the unborn. Um, but sort of knowing myself, I, I think that after a one-year campaign against Hillary Clinton, I'd lie to all my friends, go in and pull the, the lever for Giuliani. <laughs> you know, but the point is, if, if a Republican candidate running against Hillary Clinton has trouble getting me to vote for him, that does that does concern me. I mean, a lot of the the, the what we think of as the voters in the middle, um, they're very conservative. They may not be Republicans, but they're conservative on issues like abortion and guns. And I do think that's a problem, but boy, can that man debate. He can. He's a, he's a great speaker. But what does it say about the party that it is moving toward nominating a guy who's in some ways more liberal than Howard Dean on the social issues. Dean's against gun control. Giuliani has not been against gun control. What does that say about Republicans? Um, I think what it says isn't so much about Republicans. I mean, I don't think the Democrat candidates are any great shakes either. I, I really think we, it traces back to campaign finance reform. If you look at it in the opposite direction, how do you end up with a president like, like Ronald Reagan? It's because when he was first running for governor of California, you know, he could have three or four millionaires back when that meant something. Um, you know, just say, this guy's family fantastic let's run him for governor now you either have to be independently wealthy already be a hollywood star or be willing to go through 18 rubber chickens a day for you know basically a dozen years of your life um, and i think that has a lot to do with why we're not really neither side has stellar candidates but why hillary i mean it seems to me two, two questions one why is the party moving toward nominating her when it seems to me we've got perfectly serviceable candidates in obama and edwards who are more anti-war than she is and why given the fact that she in that field is maybe the most conservative at least on the war she's the most hawkish why is she despised most by republicans um I think the reason she's able to, get, for the same reason that the Democrats love her, um, both sides assume that, that she's um, a wolf in sheep's clothing, that she uh, has an agenda, she has a to-do list, she wants to socialize as much American industry as she can get her hands on, pass, you know, a national choice bill, um, would, would interfere with the civil liberties of, of her enemies, um, but, but because everyone already, she has that background, and that's what everyone assumes of her, she can talk like, you know, Little Miss Sunshine. You, you suggested the other day that if women didn't vote, yes. that uh, famously you suggested that Democrats wouldn't get elected if, if women didn't vote. Do you think women should vote or should they restrain themselves? <laughs> no, I think it would have to be a blanket repeal of the 19th Amendment. <laughs> would you be willing to give up your vote to do that? If they will, I definitely will. <laughs> definitely will. What if, Elizabeth Edwards, you got into it with her f again famously. She said the other day that Rush Limbaugh was a draft dodger. Raising the, should women be, since we're talking about the draft, if the draft becomes reinstated, should women be drafted to fight our war? No. No, I don't think Why? women should be in combat. I don't think men should be drafted either, but I absolutely don't think women should be in combat. Women serve important r roles in supporting the troops, um, both overseas and at home. But um, no, I mean, talk to any talk to any cop about what he thinks about having a female partner instead of you know just going out on his own. He has a woman he's got to take care of, um, and I think it's kind of a creepy thing. A few years ago, the New York Times Magazine section had an article on how they were training the troops. Not not to react when they heard a woman being tortured. I think this was either before or after the Gulf Wars. It was about that time. They are actually, our military is training the troops out of a normal chivalrous impulse of, of a civilized society because otherwise they'd break down. I think that's a little creepy. You, you've made all of our 11 viewers mad uh, in the past <laughs> five minutes. What's it like for you? What's your normal life like? So many people despise you or mad at you. When you go to Safeway, do people yell at you in the produce aisle? I mean, do people come up to you in the street? Uh, no, the worst hectoring I get tends to be on, on TV. Really? <laughs> yes. People never come up to you at the airport and say nasty things to you. Airports? No, 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 no. Certainly not the pilots. No, out in America, I'm pretty popular. I'm not that popular in a lot of TV stations. Does it, does it bother you when people get, I mean, do you like it? I mean, this is always the question about you. When you make people mad, you say intentionally inflammatory things. Does, does, are your feelings ever hurt by the response that you get when people, you know, say you should be executed or whatever? Does it bother you? Um, no, I wouldn't say it bothers me. I mean, you'd have to be some sort of sociopath to say, I love when someone calls, comes up and calls me an expletive. Um, but, but, you know, I can see the bigger picture. <laughs> do, you, do you like a lot of conservatives kind of like Obama, even though he's obviously not a conservative, but they like him better than Hillary. Do you? 
Um, he has a nicer personality, but I think he has nuttier views. Um, I mean, he's only four years out of the Illinois legislature, right? So um, it's not surprising that he doesn't have better views. What, what more could you say about liberals and Democrats <laughs> that you haven't said in your new book? Your new book, you know, if liberals are smart, if Democrats are smart, they'd be Republicans. What can you add? Well, well to you how have to wait for the next book on, <laughs> to find out, Tucker. <laughs> There's more coming. Is it, so, uh, will you win any um, converts? By the way, could I, could I mention something? I mean, it's breaking right now. As I was coming on air, you mentioned uh, Lizzie Edwards. National Enquirer is breaking a major story that will be, we can start the time clock on now when the mainstream media will pick it up on John Edwards having an 18-month affair. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm Start gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wait till the National Enquirer confirms that for me. Then my next trip to the to the <laughs> to the supermarket. You can check uh, online or my yeah, webpage right now. I have, to, right I have now. to say that you're putting that on your webpage. You're not gonna win uh, support from John Overs, really. No, no matter what you do. But but just tell me one thing about your book. One more insult that we haven't heard aimed at Democrats that we're gonna find in this in this book. But one more. There are thousands. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an inducement to buy it. Ann Coulter joining us live. Thanks, Ann. I appreciate it. Thank you. And good luck at Safeway.